How's it going fabulous TAs? In this video I'm going to share with you how to partition three digit numbers and add them together. Hello there and welcome back to TA in Control. My name is Lauren Reasoner and here I give you the tools and resources to be a teaching assistant working at your most confident best. And as I said in this video I'm going to share with you how to partition three digit numbers and add them together. It's not as scary as you think. So let's dive right in. The aim of this video is to give you an understanding of partitioning. We will cover what partitioning is and how to partition three digit numbers when adding them together. The method in this video may be slightly different from what you use at your school, but once you understand what partitioning is, you will be able to apply what you've learned here to the maths in your classroom. So what is partitioning? Partitioning is a way of breaking numbers up to make them easier to work with. Some teachers call it chunking, which is probably a better word for young children because they may understand that word without too much explanation. Here's an example of partitioning. 635 can be broken down into 600, which is six hundreds, 30, which is three tens, five, which is five ones. Modern maths teaches children to understand that a number like 635 is not made up of a six, a three and a five. It's made up of six hundreds, three tens and five ones so that they understand the value of each digit. Here is a method of partitioning when adding two three digit numbers. Unpartitioned, the sum is 635 plus 241. When you partition it, you get 600 plus 200, 30 plus 40, 5 plus 1. When 635 and 241 are partitioned, it makes them easier to add up using the knowledge the children have about maths so far. You can see that the 600 plus the 200, it's much easier to get to 800 using that method. 30 plus 40, just add the 3 and the 4 and include the 0 to make 70 and the 5 plus the 1. Hopefully they're able to, they understand what adding one means to, to a number, you get the six. And then you've got the column addition method right there. And all they're having to do is add up the zero, zero and the six, which equals the six, the zero and the seven, which equals seven, and the eight to give them 876. Can you see how partitioning, breaking down the big numbers have made them easier to add together for children who are still learning how to add? Um, it's doing it that way. Um, it looks a lot less daunting than the unpartitioned uh, sum at the top in white. Um, breaking it down into its component parts just makes it easier. So that is partitioning. Watch the video as many times as you feel the, the need um, in order to make you secure with partitioning three digit numbers and adding them together. Once you can do that, you can do the same with two digit numbers, four digit and so on. In the next video, we will cover how to partition three digit numbers when you have numbers that go above 10. Sounds tricky but it really isn't. 
So what have you learned in this video? You have learned that partitioning or chunking means breaking down numbers to make them easier to work with. Two, this method makes adding easier for children who are still learning how to add and still learning about the value represented by numbers. And three, the method I've shown you may not be the exact way your school does it, but it will help you to understand the concept, which will make tackling it in school easier for you. So the big takeaway from what you've learned is something that sounds scary isn't scary when you decide to engage with it. I have some related videos you might like to watch. I'll put links to them in the description below. Here's how to get to the description section if you're not sure. You can find the link to the videos I've mentioned by looking at the description section. Here's how to get to the description. On your phone, tap on the little V under the video to expand the description section. On your laptop, click on show more to expand the description section. And I hope you can see there that I've done a couple of screenshots for you to make it even clearer. Now, if this video has been helpful in any way, please reciprocate by giving it a thumbs up. And click the subscribe button along with the bell icon to ensure you get to hear when I've uploaded a new video so that you too can find out what a difference TA in Control will make to your working life. And if you haven't yet, come and join my Facebook group TA in Control free group and get access to all my free and paid resources. Thank you.